Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have a 2017 Ram Promaster. The problem is the brake cables were sticking, were freezing up, and the brake was locking up on the driver's side. Um, I already did one side. I'll put the video up. It's poor editing, poor recording, just like now. Sorry. Um, these are your retainers. You have one up top, one on the bottom, whatever. Uh, you need to spin this out. Pop it down. It's already got it together. Let me try to see if I can. I have a screwdriver over here. Hold on, bear with me. Okay. Normally, you just knock it down like that because it locks. The retainer locks into that hole. See these little tabs? Push up. So, all you do once you do that, hold it from the back, squeeze it down, and the pin slides out. As you get it in, same way to put it on, lock it in. It's done. You should you might have heard it pop, I'm not sure. This is your main spring, hold two shoes together. There's a little hole. Let me see. Poor lighting. There you go. It's a little hole right there. Goes in. This bracket is where the emergency brake cable comes through. See it coming through there right there? Let me see. That's the cable right there. Okay. In order to get that cable off, this has come off. This backing plate has to come off. You have three six millimeter, six millimeter uh, Allen Allen screws to get that off. You take something and just hit the, the front of the cable, the parking brake cable, and you kind of just take a screwdriver and pop it out from behind. But you cannot get it out unless you take this retainer off and this one here, and there's another one there. And then you have enough to just pull the cable out okay to put back um pretty much self-explanatory so you took it off but your adjuster goes upside down on the drive on the passenger side and on the driver's side it goes up like that see the hole so you can't mess it up it fits right into that groove all right and then after you do that, you have this zigzag spring. So it will sit in like that. It really doesn't matter either way. But when you put it in, you know, you're going to the front. You got to link it into the back. Or you're going to the back, link it into the front. Make the adjustment. <coughs> Woo, sorry about that. I don't even know how to edit that out, but okay. So, um, yeah, uh, once you get all that set, Put your hub back on. Let's see, this thing is kind of huge. Slide your hub back in. Put the nut back on it. Tighten it down to I forgot the foot pounds that it says, but there's the nut right there. All right, it is a one and thirteen sixteens or a forty-six millimeter socket to get that off. All right that you need is a one <clears throat> a 46 millimeter socket a 22 millimeter um, socket for the brake bracket and the six millimeter for the actual uh, brake pins all right happy hunting any questions feel free to email me